Hey, how's it going on, you lovely people at Chat Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of All of Fabric 6. Today is episode 2, and we are going to get into mystical agriculture here. So, I don't know how far we'll be able to get into this, but I want to kind of grab some of the basic seeds here. Um, let's see. So, I know I want to try and look at getting an iron seed. Which, this is tier 3. Uh, if you don't know how this works... You basically need a crap ton of the um, starter essence, which is uh, put over here, I think. This stuff right here, this Inferium essence, okay? So, the first seed that we should actually go for is the actual Inferium essence seed. Uh, so, if we type in essence here, there is... Where is it at here? Um, is it called the Inferium? Ethereum. It's right here. It's this one right here. Inferium Seeds. There we go. So these aren't too difficult to get, but we probably should start there instead of iron. So we can actually start gathering up some of this, some of the goodies here. So let's go, let's grab just eight of these. Okay. And then we're going to do some botany pots. Remember, botany pots is not a default mod. I installed it again because I'm not dealing with that crap. Um, so we're going to just, you know, go with it. So we need to make... Did it not work? There it goes. We're going to have to smelt this stuff up. I'm going to need some more charcoal. Or coal and all of these, I think. So let's grab that. And I also think uh, I will work on getting the stuff for a create tree farm. Um, I think that's always kind of the default one that I go with in most packs now is just kind of messing with create just because it's simple. Uh, let's see. Do I have another furnace? I do. Let's just toss this other furnace down. And uh, I think I have a flower pot. Yeah, I put it up here. And then we also need a hopper. So let's grab that real quick. So this, we're also going to need another chest, so let's just make another one here. Um, we're going to need to make eight of these, by the way. I'm just making one on camera, and then I'm going to cycle and do the rest off camera. So we're going to make one hopper here. I also need to smelt up some iron. Um, and I may only do four for right now, just because I don't have a ton of iron. And then we may look at getting the uh, iron seeds here shortly. Alright, so here's the recipe. It's five terracotta, one flower pot, one hopper. And of course, we could upgrade this to the elite uh, hopper pot, which does the two times input, or two times output, two times speed, uh, which is a fantastic thing. But for right now, we're not going to do that. Um, let's just plop this right here for right now. Uh, put the hopper botany pot here. And I just had to get the proper farmland. So this is actually just a hoe. And Furium Essence and some dirt. Each tier has a version of farmland. This is tier 1. So normal items like this do not work for some reason. Uh, we don't have JEI support or REI support in this case for these. Um, which is the which is kind of a problem. But uh, Inferium, it works. Cool. So I know one thing we want to look at is the Infusion Altar here. Which requires carpet, stone, and gold. And we do need red carpet. Do I have... I do have some poppies. I don't have a grinder thing. This right here. I need to probably look at getting this sooner or later. Uh, wouldn't be too difficult now that I have the access to the um, compressor here. So we'll look at that in a little while. Okay, so let's do this. I should just be able to do a one for one, right? Nope, that's not carpet. I forget carpet's a different recipe. <laughs> Whoops, I need to go grab more flowers. <laughs> Alrighty, so I went ahead and I made eight of these infusion pedestals. And now we're going to make this uh, infusion altar here. And I don't know if this works as the same way it does with uh, Forge's version. Okay, it does. Perfect. So we can actually get a little bit of a guideline on where we need to place these. I probably won't keep this placement, by the way. It's just temporary for right now. Goodness gracious, those take a minute to break. Probably need a better tool. Um, off camera, I am going to be doing a villager trading hall. 
It's something that I commonly do, but I will be doing that off camera this time. Uh, biggest reason is because I will be using Monster Ball. Um, if you don't know what Monster Ball is, it's a mod that I created or ported, not created. Let me correct myself. This is a mod that I ported from uh, 1.19 to 1.19.2 for Fabric, specifically for All of Fabric 6 back when I did this the first time. So uh, it's not an expensive recipe. You kind of need to have, you know, a decent amount of resources. They are not one-time use. You can use them as many times as you want. Um, they are throwable. They are equivalent to a snowball. That's actually what was being used in the code, and that's what I kept. So that way you can capture villagers or other creatures from a distance if need be. Um, I will be doing that, of course, off camera. Getting the silk touch, getting the um, mending, unbreaking, fortune, all of that stuff. Just so that way we don't have to suffer together. Um, I will save you guys from suffering. All right. So the next thing that we want to look at is grabbing some prosperity shards and some seeds. I don't think it really matters what kind of seeds, but I want to use... I guess we can try and see if cabbage seeds might work. No, not this. Prosperity. Goodness. Okay, so that does not work. It looks like we may need actual wheat seeds. Uh, do I, I don't... Do I have any? I have some. I'm just completely blind. They're right here. Okay. There we go. And this will give us Prosperity Seed Base. And this should be good for uh, some iron stuff. Looks like we're going to get a quest or two completed with that as well. So let's grab those loot bags. Looks like we've got some Mana Pearls. I think I'll look at Batania this time. I haven't touched Batania in a hot minute. So I think we'll look at that as well. But uh, we need to see if we can get um, one more thing, which is grabbing four more of these, grabbing a diamond, doing this, doing this. Is this correct? Uh, mystical gem, no, shard, what's it called? Crystal. Okay, um, and Fusion Crystal. It actually looks like there's only one tier of this for some reason, compared to the normal version. Okay, so we need a little bit more Prosperity. So it doesn't look like I needed to do the Prosperity Gemstone, right? Why is that? It's literally the same thing. It's just surrounded. You know what? I'm going to make an improvement. Be right back. And all of a sudden, this recipe exists. Don't ask how I did it, right? Um, I believe this is actually the recipe for this in the Forge version, isn't it? This, like, similar type thing. But I, I, I honestly, I kind of forgot. It's been a minute since I've played with it. But anyway, let's get this going here. So we're going to do this. Let's just balance the grid. Um, we're gonna need enough of this, and we can convert this back down, by the way. So don't be alarmed if we, you know, throw all this in here. But we're gonna want four of these, and then we're gonna need some iron. Okay. Um, iron, 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 iron. So I, I have two pieces of iron. Okay, let me smelt up some real quick. So this in the center... I'm assuming this works the exact same way as the Forge version, but I may be wrong. Who knows? Put these down. So we should see that iron seeds are ready to be crafted. Let's just grab a button. Push the button. And that should give us iron seeds. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is quickly come in here and craft up that farmland uh, that we need for this... Okay, so the tetrium, and then we're going to want to do a piece of dirt. So this, hoe, and the tetrium farmland. And just so we can make sure, let's F3H real quick. Um, put that in there, put that in there. 
we should see this grow. And also, this is extremely slow. Uh, I believe by default, it's about a minute 30-ish, maybe more for seeds. Even if you have the equivalent, you know, farmland. But yeah, this definitely is going to take quite a while to get going here. It's It says it'll grow at one time, 1.2 times speed, but that's not really that fast in this case. So, we'll note, we know it grows, so let's throw this back in here. Hey, shut door from the editing booth here, and while we're watching the villager breeder be made, I quickly want to talk about what's going to make this series stand out more than take one, right? Why am I doing another take? Um, I think the biggest reason I really wanted to is because there is a better resource generation mod in here. While I don't prefer mystical agriculture, I don't want to be forced into only one option. I know in the future I will be adding Create or Excavation, which is for Fabric as well as Forge, and that will allow for us to have multiple avenues of creating resources rather than just sticking to one or being forced into one like it's an expert pack right so that is definitely something that we're going to look into but that is going to make the biggest difference the fact that i can passively generate resources without being forced into one mod or the other that does not mean i won't be looking into modern industrialization because i definitely will be but for right now, I want to start it off slow. I don't want to just get overwhelmed in the beginning, get to that point of burnout like we had in the first take. And uh, that's basically all I really wanted to touch on. That is going to be the biggest difference. Of course, we're still going to try and do a lot of vanilla-esque farms and things. Of course, some of them aren't going to work. I know there's been some creatures added to the end. I know there's been, you know, modifications through certain tweak mods and things like that. So not everything vanilla is going to work. So we're going to have to work around that, but I'm excited to look into that. And I just wanted to sit down, establish those facts, and uh, let's get right back into the video. All right, so I've started with a basic um, villager breeder here. Uh, I've kind of just, you know, time-lapsed it. That's what you guys just saw was me building this structure. We've done this design several times. I believe we even did it in the previous take of all of Fabric 6. So nothing too extreme. Um, but I have not got any actual villagers fully grown. So we're still waiting. I went ahead and I made some white elevators from Kybe. So that way we're not allowing creatures to fall in here. But yeah, that is kind of the start of that. And I did put it away from our area. So that way we're not loading it all the time. I mean... We will be loading it because, of course, I chunk claimed it and force loaded it. Uh, let's also do that to this area. Real quick, let's make up the extractor here. Uh, I also want to make up a grinder sooner or later and look at the industrial blast furnace. This one's going to be a minute, of course, because we do need glowstone. Um, I think I don't. Do I have any glowstone? I thought I may have picked some up from some random buildings, but no, I guess I didn't. All right, let's get the extractor down here. Uh, the reason I wanted to grab the extractor is because I want to be able to get uh, black ink from ink sacks real fast. Uh, if you don't know, you get one per two whenever doing it this way. So this will definitely make making monster balls a lot easier. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that I'm going to do this for. Let's see. So we got a tech reborn loot bag. We got mystical agriculture something or other here. So let's just grab all this stuff real fast. Uh, looks like we got botany pot stuff. Or not botany pot, Batania. Goodness gracious. Alright. Uh, looks like we just got a handful of odds and ends. That's not terrible. I don't really mind. Blocks of amethyst dust. Okay. What in the world? Face... I think it's kind of funny how I'm invisible. It just looks a little funny. Uh, oh, whoa. What is this? This is interesting. It's given us, like, the comparator output. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap. I've never... I didn't know this existed, honestly. But it's, like, given us comparator outputs and... Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, uh, we need to put some more coal in here. So I think one of the things we need to look at is definitely getting uh, Create Tree Farm or something going. So that way we can actually get uh, charcoal. I've kind of been just jumping back and forth during this episode, but I want to grab 
um, a grinder real fast, but we're going to need to get some more plates here. Do I have any more iron than 26? Okay. So let's go for just seven of these, I think, for right now. Seven plates. We'll let that go, and I will be right back with you. You know, while this is uh, crafting up, I just wanted to mention, this is probably the most tech reborn that I've ever done genuinely like the last one i did not do a whole lot i think we got the uh alloy furnace from tech reborn this thing right here and then we just kind of never went any further uh so we've actually done significantly more than what we have in the last take of this whole um this whole all of fabric six you know shenanigans right so that's just something to bring you guys attention but here we go. We've got the grinder, and that is fantastic. So now we should be able to do some things. I don't know. Let's just test it. Let's grab some iron. Are we able to do anything with raw materials? Okay. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, What would be the point of using a grinder? Let's actually take a quick look at this. So the grinder, there's an industrial variation. Does the industrial variation... Okay, so this does have... Uh, like ore processing stuff and salvaging properties, it looks like a little bit. Okay, we're not looking at that right now, anyway. Um, so we can break down ores. Let's see. Just kind of scroll through here real quick. So I would expect us to not be able to do too too much with this currently. It looks like yeah, we could do some silk touch stuff. Um. Prismarine shards, crystals, uh, ancient debris, netherite scrap. That's not a terrible one because we only get one for one if we throw it in a furnace. Uh, do do glowstone one to four glowberries. That's not a bad one. If we wanted to make a glowberry farm in the future, we could definitely look at this. This would not be a bad thing at all. Uh, Fluix dust. If Fluix crystals to fluix dust, flint to flint dust. Okay. Um, and I mean, like, we also have things like bone meal. We're just going to do specific examples here. Um, one to six. Very fantastic right there. Um, of course, we looked at black... Uh, what is it called? Ink sack? I think this was only for the extractor. Right? Um, so we've just got odds and ends. We're not going to be using this too, too much, I would assume. But every once in a while, it's going to be very useful. This is going to be very useful. If you don't know what these two things are, um, you can see here, this is a citrine. This is a citrine ore, if you look at the tag. This is actually making 12 dust. Same thing here. So we wouldn't need to do the anvil dropping method. Definitely something to look at here. Uh, of course, this is onyx. This was, you know, 1 to 12. Uh, the topaz here as well. And remember, I've messed with spectrum. I know what all of these are. I've seen them actually around the world. I just haven't harvested any. Because I don't know how much spectrum we're going to do in this. Uh, blaze rods to blaze powder. Pretty interesting. Okay, so there's tons and tons of good stuff in here that we can look at in the future. I'm definitely excited to look at this a little bit more. All right, so that takes out that. I know the next thing we kind of want to start looking towards is trying to get um, this industrial blast furnace to try and get uh, steel and stuff. Looks like we can actually kind of salvage things. Steel and tungsten makes hot tungsten ingots. Tung steel ingots. And that is, holy crap, did they make that expensive. I don't remember the uh, temp pad being that expensive. I don't remember the temp pad at all, honestly. Uh, but then we can get the tongue steel ingot from a vacuum freezer. Okay. And then that makes mixed metal ingots and stuff, it looks like. Interesting. I have no idea what this is used for. Plasma generators, fluid replicators, quantum leggings. Okay, so this is like endgame material. Interesting. I definitely want to take a look at uh, Tech Reborn's uh, equipment. So, for example, that quantum set, there is a whole 
quantum set here, which is superconductors and Lapatron crystals and data storage chips and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. There's also the drills uh, in here, which we have, you know, the basic, the advanced, and then the industrial. Uh, each one of these is pretty expensive. I mean, this one's not that much, but we would need to be able to charge a battery. Can this charge a battery? I don't actually know if this charges a battery. We may need something else for that. But uh, then you, of course, can make... Oh, there's a basic drac. So if we wanted to get, like, an all-in-one from piercing pick paxels, we could. Uh, there's the advanced drac upgrade kit. Huh. It just needs titanium, though. Titanium comes from titanium hot ingots, titanium dust, which then comes from heart of, hearts of the sea... Is that all it comes from? And mercury. Okay, that looks expensive. Oh, not really, actually. If we can go for this method. Alrighty, and with that, we're going to wrap this one up here, ladies and gentlemen. We got quite a bit of different things done today. We got the mystical agriculture refabricated, the villager breeder, some tech reborn stuff. We're going to kind of be doing this jumping around a little bit more here and there. Um, because I want to kind of progress as quickly as possible, but also not kind of forget why we're doing this pack. Um, you know, just because Tech Reborn, we've definitely not looked at it as much in the last attempt, so we're definitely taking a good look at it. Um, I do plan on doing Modern Industrialization in the future once we have enough resources to do so. Um, because of course, in the first take, we really did not have a lot of resources. While we had a lot of equipment and, like, the ability to get more materials from fortune pickaxes and stuff, we didn't have a passive generation of resources unless we went to modern industrialization. And honestly, I kind of like looking at other mods before jumping into one massive one, like Spectrum, for example. Um, you know, because I had to gather quite a lot of resources before we started that one. So definitely something to think about. And I'm excited to look into modern industrialization in the future once we have more materials to get started with it. And uh, that's been, this has been fun. Thank you. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.